Today we'll be performing infrared spectroscopy, also known as IR. IR is used to assist in identifying functional groups in organic molecules. This is an IR spectrometer. The instruments that we use are made by MIDAC, and the software we use is called Essential FTIR. There's an icon on the desktop so you can start it from there. After you open the software, you will select Tools, then Instruments, then MIDAC Data Collection. This will take you to an interactive screen. Before you can run an IR spectrum, a background must be run. The background takes an IR signature for the molecules present in the atmosphere. Before you run the background scan, make sure that there is no sample loaded in the IR spectrometer. This is how you run the background. Select Background and click Start. The software will then subtract the background from any future IR spectra that you run. To prepare the sample, we will need to clean the sodium chloride plates. They are delicate, so be careful while handling. To clean them, rinse them with acetone. The salt we use is insoluble in acetone, so the acetone will not dissolve the plate. Next, we wipe off the plate. Note, always wear gloves while handling the salt plates to avoid contamination. We then place one to two drops of the sample onto the plate. Don't overload the plate, you just need a thin film to form. Then we sandwich the plate so that the liquid is between them. Now we can load the sample. This is where you will load the sample. To run the RR, we select Sample, and then Start. There is an icon in the middle of the screen with a capital T. From that drop-down menu, select Y-axis and Transmittance. You can now print your spectrum. After you're finished taking the spectrum, remember to clean the plates and place them back in the desiccator. Then, put the lid back on so the plates don't absorb moisture in the atmosphere. Any waste generated in this step should be disposed of safely. This is our printed spectrum. The peaks on the spectrum help us to identify the different functional groups in the molecule. Each peak is associated with a different wavelength. These wavelengths correspond to the energies needed to stretch and bend the bonds in the molecule in question. You can see the IR table in the ebook to assign the peaks in your spectrum.